Hi, I'm Walter here with the Coco ADX. Today I'm going to give an overview of the device's operation in VDC mode. VDC stands for Vibration Data Collector. It's the Coco ADX's route-based operating mode. Routes and factories are first created in our PC software and must then be uploaded to the Coco ADX. Our PC software is called Vibration Diagnosis System, or VDS. It was designed specifically for route-based data collection, trending, and analysis. Today, I'll be showing how to operate the Coco ADX in VDC mode, and our PC-based software VDS will be discussed in a separate video. Factories are assembled by the user through an intuitive user interface. Analysis parameters are configured individually for each measurement prior to being uploaded to the Coco ADX. When the Coco ADX boots up, we must choose the device's operating mode. Select VDC mode to open the factory selection screen. Each factory is associated with specific machines and routes, so you must choose the appropriate factory for your measurements. After selecting a factory, it takes us back to the setup screen. From here, you can access all sorts of device-related settings and features. For now, let's open the route menu. When you select a route, it will take you to the route display screen. This list contains all the measurement entries, points, and machines of your route. The hierarchical structure provides a good overview of the various components under each machine. The route display screen also serves as an overview of your testing progress. You can see the status of individual measurements based on the color of the entry. White entries have not yet been started, yellow entries are in progress, and green entries have already been completed. You can select and activate measurements from this list. Press F6 to activate a point and it will take you to the signal display screen. This is the signal display in VDC mode. This interface shows live signal data and provides access to testing parameters. The signal display can be switched with the previous and next buttons. You can access important settings and parameters with the function keys. Open the traces menu to configure your traces. You can select signals to be displayed on each trace. Press F2 to open the parameters menu. This is where you configure and review various settings related to data acquisition. The save options allows you to choose how the analyzer will proceed to subsequent measurement points. You can choose to manually acquire each individual measurement, or you can set it up to automatically acquire multiple points sequentially. We'll choose manual saving in this example. This is the display preferences menu, where we can set the various display parameters for signal displays. We can choose spectrum types, spectrum units, access scaling, and access notation. Make sure to press the apply button to save any changes. The tachometer menu lets you configure the tachometer trigger parameters. The tachometer setup lets you configure the tachometer trigger parameters. You can set the number of pulses per revolution and you can set the trigger level. When you're done, press the apply button and then the back button. The analysis parameters menu provides an overview of your testing parameters. These analysis parameters can only be reconfigured in the VDS software. The output channel menu allows you to turn on the signal generator. You can output various signal waveforms and configure their parameters accordingly. The input channel menu provides an overview of your input channel settings. Just like the analysis parameters menu, these settings can only be configured in the factory setup on the PC. You can check your sensor status by pressing F3. Press F6 to back out. The F3 key takes you to the point management view. You can navigate to different measurement points and view your measurement progress. You can attach notes to measurements and review measurement records as well. Press F6 to start a measurement. You can see the status of your acquisition at the top of the display. It shows your frame count at the top and your signal status in the corner. Once you're done taking measurements, press the file button to review your measurements. You can review the saved signals associated with each point. Press F2 to review records for the selected measurement point. From here, you can review or delete signal files. Press F4 to open a signal. The file review screen is very similar to the live signal display. You can modify the signal display and perform zoom, scroll, and cursor functions. You can also review the analysis parameters and display preferences for the signal. When you're done, press the OK button. There are a few remaining hard key functions that I haven't yet discussed. These serve as shortcuts to important menus, so I'll quickly review these. The Analysis button will return you to the Route Selection screen. The Display button serves as a shortcut to the Live Signal display. The Input button takes you to the Input Channel configuration. The Setup button will return you to the Setup screen. This serves as a home screen for your device-related settings. You can access factories and routes, but you can also initiate on-site measurements from here. On-site measurements can be created at any time by the user. 
These are not tied to measurement points, so they are a special type of measurement. There are some other settings here that I won't discuss in detail. These include system memory, date and time settings, connection settings, power settings, and audio settings. These will be addressed in a separate video. After completing your route, you can upload this data to VDS. To upload your measurements to the VDS database, first establish a network connection between the PC and your COCO. After logging into VDS on your PC, press the download button to synchronize your database with the COCO's most recent measurements. This concludes the process of acquiring data in VDC mode.